do we don't have normal Gabumon yet? Go for it. There you go. Normal Gabumon. Nyarumon. Do I have any of the camaraderie gaining things? I should have normal food. Okay, wait a minute. I should have normal food to use. Nyarumon. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. You. I need you to have tin camaraderie. Please get enough. Yeah, you should. You've eaten most of these. That should do it. That ought to do it. Yeah, gimme give gimme give armadillo mon. There he is, he's an armadillo. He's just he's just chilling. He's just being a lad. You guys aren't gonna digivolve until like level 14 to 16 because you're rookies. Which is fine. I probably should look can you become a Quilamon? Yeah, that's a Quilamon right there. I should probably go out of my way to make you an Aquilamon since chat is most likely going to make it where I get a Valkyrie Mon down the line. I'm out. Hit a fat save real quick, just in case. I don't remember what we fight here, if anything, I think. I think it might actually be an eater that we fight here. I'm gonna bet on that and put in Gatoma. You've just become a hacker recently, right? Just like I thought. You sure look green enough, but it's more about the Digimon programs you have. Does everyone in Huddy use those? No kidding. And here I thought those guys like to keep things old school. Guess people do change. Heck, they fell under Zaxxon's beck and call before I even knew it. Oops, sorry. We're here to talk about Jude, right? Jude was active several years ago. Digital monsters hadn't been discovered yet back then. How old are you, by the way? Hackers would use tools they'd made themselves to do their hacking. Yeah, how old were you when you did that? And then there was Jude, the biggest hacker team. At the very least, you've heard the name of their leader, right? Arata Sonata. Uh, well, okay then. Jude wasn't just the biggest team, but the one with the most technical expertise, too. And their second in command was your leader, Ryuji Mishima. That Arata Sonata guy had the skill, but, well, let's just say he was a bit reckless. Ryuji was his deputy of sorts, and always followed him around. Kind of like, uh, Big Brother. Third in command was Chitose Amai, you know who I'm talking about. That guy's always been good with people, and kept the friction down on such a big team, like grease for a bunch of squeaky wheels. He looks chill and has good eye for people. With him around, most arguments would work themselves out. Several other hackers on the team could assemble unique malware. In other words, Jude had it all. Productivity, mobility, you name it. So they say. But what made Jude a legend wasn't its size. It was the conviction they all shared. It wasn't a hard and fast rule, mind you. It's just that not one of them used hacking for evil. They only acted to raise their skill or just sate their curiosity. The under zero business, too. I'd say they only broke in because they were that kind of people. You haven't heard about under zero? It's a core server that has existed since the start of Eden. It contains all of the log data inscribed into Eden up to now. In other words, it's actually Eden's greatest security fortress. Taking that fortress made Jude the strongest team in Eden, both in name and deed. At least it would have. That is, if that guy hadn't shown up. Nah, it's, it's nothing. Yeah, that one Nightmon, dude. Anyway, Jude failed in conquering Under Zero and then disbanded just like that. Alright, now it's your turn. Tell me what those guys have been up to le- Oh, it's an eater. Not these guys again. Stop butting it! Let's beat them. These guys will cause a real mess if we leave them alone. You must be pretty good if you're part of Huddy, right? Glad to hear it. I'm counting on you, kid. Here we go. Oh, the data's converging already? Calm down there. Alright. I have a Gatomon, so this should be easy. Yep. Blocking the panic. How dare you. Oh yeah, penetrating also does a lot too. And your intelligence is down, so this magic attack should do pretty good. You're gonna get one attack, better make it count. I did nothing. Please hit Seedramon, or Kurisarimon. I hate you. I knew, I knew, I knew you would go for Gatomon. Annoying piece of trash. Oh, that killed. Wow. I was actually gonna get Gatomon back up, but obviously can't do that now. 
That's fine. I'm pretty sure that we are going to put Gattelmon, end up putting Gattelmon in the farm in place for uh, Ginryumon. <sighs> we made it somehow. Those things freak me out whenever I see them in Kowloon. I've been attacked by them before. You'd better stay alert. According to a Kamashiro researcher named Sudo, those things have something to do with the phenomenon occurring in the real world. Oh, you know that fossil too, do you? He sure does get around. You can't keep a good scientist down, huh? You calling him a fossil? Sudo does not look that old. Sudo looks like he's in his mid-40s at the latest. Whoa! Oh, hey, Ryuji, fancy seeing you here. You're as sloppy as ever, aren't you? Sorry, you saved my bacon. Don't get it twisted. I didn't come to save you. And what are you twiddling your thumbs for? Find you going fey yet? Yeah, I don't know what they look like. Yeah, we get it. You have Megas. That was pretty dangerous there. You heard anywhere? I wonder who, who it might be and look who it is. Hey, Ryuji. You've been meeting that Arata Sonata quite a bit lately, huh? Ah, oh, come on. Don't give it away, Faye. Ah, shoot, the jig is up. Oh, your hood is off! Now I know who you are! I'm Murata Sonata. Nice to meet you, kid. You're the newbie that just joined Huddy? I see. You've got good eyes. Wrong. Lying. Lying straight to my face. Wow. Rude. Plus, it seems our interests are aligned. You came all the way here just to introduce him? Yeah. No, I have a report for you. You go, Jimmy Kin is broken off from Zaxxon. Sure, I know. Faye and I were just looking into the issue. That account rating Mephisto did, it looks like the demons are involved somehow. I'm guessing they raided accounts to raise funds to expand the team's influence in one fell swoop. You're quick on the uptake. I want you to leave this matter to us. If we show any weakness here, it'll set a bad example to the other hacker teams. We'll maintain Eden's order with our own hands. You can't protect Eden through force alone. If someone wants to defect, we can't just let them go. Not just anyone can determine right and wrong. If we let this pass, who will prevent hackers from running wild? It's not like everyone can control themselves with conviction like you all once did. I believe in the necessity of defined rules, no matter where you are. All I'm saying is that hackers aren't the type of people to be tied down by anyone. To begin with, the way you guys do things is... Shut up, Sonata! Ryuji, you understand me, don't you? After all, we're... We are not anything. You ran away. You don't get to talk about Eden's hackers. Yeah, you're right. Do what you want. Oh, man. I sense some history there. I'm sorry we can't see eye to eye on this. There aren't many hackers of his caliber out there. I'm done talking about him. Yugo, Rogue got cut up in the demon's business. He was ordered to get intel on Zaxxon by Jimmy. Him? Ha! Little did he know he was asking a member of Huddy to spy for him. Perfect. Let's have him pretend to spy on Zaxxon. I'm asking you to be a double agent. I want you to contact us if the demons make any moves. This guy's only just become a hacker, Yugo. Yeah, but I'm still better than all of you combined, so suck it, loser. Not a problem. What's the point in a spy whose face everyone knows in Eden? Plus, he's a new recruit for Huddy, so I'm sure I can trust him. If you insist, Yugo. You'd best do your job right, kiddo. We're all, like, the same age, right? You, like, you say kiddo like I'm 12 and you're 38. Are we not all around 18, give or take a standard deviation of, like, 4? You can come and go as you please in this forum. From today on, you're one of Zaxxon's hackers. A hacker's medal can be seen in how skillfully he uses Digimon programs. Because protecting the Order of Eden is a hacker's first duty. I pray your actions are befitting of a guardian. I'm a guardian of Eden. Yeah, that's a lie. What? Do I happen to know a hacker who calls himself K? 
Nope, never heard of them. How about you, Faye? Can't say it rings a bell. Still, it's not like we know each and every hacker under us. Why do you ask? He's the reason this guy's wrapped up in all this. It's possible he's a demon hacker. Please let us know if you hear anything about him. You got it. You're always doing good work for us, after all. So you're the victim of a bad hacker yourself. Then I shouldn't have to explain anything to you. You know well enough how much suffering hackers running amok brings to those living in Eden. Just as Arata Sonata says, I also think hackers must be fundamentally free. But freedom has many interpretations. Everyone has to find the answer for themselves. I look forward to seeing what kind of hacker you end up becoming. Looks like we'll have a big job for you pretty soon. I'll give you a call. Sorry, K wasn't part of the A plot. We have no knowledge of B plot characters. <laughs> that guy sure does love to talk. Yeah, who doesn't in this game, dude? You heard about Jude from Arata, did you? Yeah, one of the best characters in the Tales of Franchise. Really cool dude. Don't believe a word he says. He ran off without protecting his team. You can't protect anything without strength. Alright. Oh, hey, Chitose. How's it going? Oh, Ryuji, you're here too. What are the odds we'd all meet at Huddy's base as members of Huddy? Man, things have gotten pretty nuts around here. All the hackers are talking about the breaking up of Zaxxon. It's all I hear about these days. Did you find out anything about Kay? Not a dang thing. This guy, he might be a pretty tough customer. If he's not getting picked up by my intelligence network, then he hasn't been around long. Has he contacted you since then, Rogue? Uh, nope. Really? Then we'll just have to wait and see. It's the hospital. Erica got approval to be discharged. Ah, oh, great! Glad to hear it didn't take too long. I'll go pick her up. Later, loser. I didn't mean that. Ryuji's not a loser. He's cool. Still, that K guy. I wonder why he called you over to the demons. For now, we know that neither of K's targets, Shiga or Kayaba, were the criminal. Was he giving you wrong intel to confuse you? And if so, for what purpose? Oh, hey, it's under zero. Man, I love what they did with Arcadimon in this game. So good. <sighs> Thought you'd already forgotten about all that. <sighs> Let's go home. The later loser was from Ryuji's point of view. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. They're holding hands. That reminds me of the end of the game, and that makes me sad. Yeah, I'll save. All right, so we're in chapter 5 now. We're actually moving through the early chapters faster than I thought we would. I guess it's like chapter 10 to 14 that slow down the game a lot. Like, it takes a long time to get through those chapters. Hey, listen. You know that old guy, the one named Akemi Sudo? Well, I looked into him. Doesn't it bother you? I'm talking about the digital wave abnormalities and weird phenomena around Tokyo, plus the eaters and the digital shift we experienced in Shinjuku. They've got to be an indicator of something unbelievable on the horizon. Putting together all the info from hackers that went inside the digital shift, there's a ton of eyewitness accounts of people seeing eaters. Could the eaters be causing the digital shifts? What do you think? So you heard about my sickness. Don't worry about it. It's not like staying holed up in here will make it any better. I'm gonna get worse just looking at that mug. Fine, why don't you take on a case then? You're a Zaxxon double agent now, right? So get to work already. Stupid. At least say sorry for the trouble you caused. Erica, are you sick? Yes. Can't you heal it with the Vaxxon like we can? No, I'm not a Digimon. Oh yeah, you're a human, huh? Is there anything I can do? Nope. <laughs> Dude, Wormon's voice actor is so adorable. The voice fits so well. At the very least, I should do more of what you do, Erica, if I can just help out more. Sure, that might work. 
To the Island of Happiness, Hugo's request. My word, could you fit any more words into this chapter title? I haven't checked the board lately. That's a lie. I checked the board recently. Don't lie about me like that. What do we got going on here? Learning about Digital Wave. We have no, like, actual cases to do. There's way too much you don't know. Get the basics down. Oh, is this just, like, talking? Like, we just have to talk to Erica a bit. I remember this. It's a request from Erica. Is this a case? Any emails arrived on the PC. There are loads of URLs for research papers. She was telling me to learn about the Digital Wave. I'm the king of all night cramming, baby. Erica's email contained links to sites for all the papers and articles about the digital wave. There's too many. I'll exclude all the foreign sites that I don't understand. Get those out of here. From the five remaining ones, excluding the articles that took too difficult, it that looked too difficult, it narrows down to two. I can read, I swear. So, which one to choose? This one. I won't expect too much of myself. I've chosen what I can handle. Now I'll just hope for the best and focus as much as I can in the time left. That's the trick to all night cramming. I can do this. What a buffoon. All night cramming. What a stupid thing to, to do. I say having gone to college and having done it myself before and always regretting it every time. The term digital wave refers to energy that carries and retains digital information and the flow thereof. Although it is described as a wave, it is not actually known if it is a wave or particles. Experts have demonstrated its existence. However, it has not yet been harnessed for practical applications. Further study is necessary. Yada, yada, yada. Akira Nakemi said, though... Akira? No, uh, Erica. It's, I read that as a cure for some reason. I read it, like, backwards. Erica and Akemi. It's because of the Akemi right there. Sudo said the digital shift in Shinjuku the other day was caused by amplification of waves. I don't know why digital waves would be concentrated under the ground in Shinjuku. Why would there be eaters? Words, words, words. Basically, a digital shift occurs where a digital wave is disrupted. Eaters appear where it occurs. Sudo shows up where eaters appear, and I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open. I think I've reached my limit. Oh, no, we're skipping all of this. Yep, hello. Yep, yep. Worst character in Digimon history right here. You got fancy music, though. I'll give you that. What do I have to do? Stand over there? Yeah, whatever. We're skipping all of this dialogue, chat. I could not care less about anything this moron has to say. I would like to reiterate what I said earlier when we uh, ran into Kashibe again. They absolutely, they like, they did the dirt, uh, they did the Royal Knights so dirty. Alphamon and Crusadermon were just like, they, it was like character assassination. Is that the term? They made Crusadermon and Alphamon two like really cool Royal Knights that have been in other media that make them look good in the Digimon franchise. They took them for the two Cyber Sleuth games and were like, what if we just made them like the, the worst thing ever? What if we just made them abysmally bad, even though they're really well-liked Digimon? And that's what they did, the scumbags. Did I miss Kyoko? I must have walked by her. Oh yeah, they like killed off Gallantmon in the first Cyber Sleuth 2. They did, they just did the... They did the uh, the Royal Knights dirty, man. Yeah, she was over here. The Royal Knights were just not used well in this game. But specifically, Alphamon and Crusadermon got the worst of it. They got the shaft hard. Yes, yes, hello. Man, what I wouldn't do for the ability to skip cutscenes.